Hi fellow YouTubers, this is Amy from iMovieCast. How are we all today? Or tonight? <laughs> I I am pretty good, it's nice and sunny outside here in, in Queensland, Australia. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to review for you all Terminator Genesis. I have been anticipating this movie coming out all year, like a lot of people out there. <laughs> and it was just overall fantastic. <laughs> all my thoughts are positives. <laughs> um, because you never find anything wrong with the majority of uh, Terminator movies and of course Arnie movies. I'm a big Arnie fan, so it's been awesome that he's been back in the movie this. <laughs> and as he said in the Terminator, ages and ages ago, I'll be back. And he definitely was. <laughs> anyway, my review of Terminator Genesis. So, Arnie is back. <laughs> um, it was a fantastic storyline which incorporated technology, robots, and humans. It also um, incorporated lots and lots of humour, which kind of made the movie, I think. Um, and with the technology side of things, it incorporated what's currently happening in today's world technology-wise, with um, like Genesis coming out on the tablet and, and things like that. But it had a bit of a futuristic element as well. Um, one thing that I didn't mention as well is the storyline. It portrayed lots of time travel as well, which I was really enjoying um, all of that. So, um, of course, the action was really, really engaging across the whole movie. And... That's what makes an action movie for me. Action on your, the edge of your seat action all the way through the movie. Not just, you know, many, many lines and then an outburst of action. I love movies that are action packed all the way through. Keep you awake and keep you, you know, adrenaline going. It was a nice surprise to see Matt Smith from Doctor Who <laughs> um, within the movie. I really enjoyed his character, even though he was kind of bad. Um, and I really enjoyed his seasons of Doctor Who as well. So, um, yeah, I've also read a biography of him as well. So, yeah, he's, he's become one of my favourite actors, but... And he's like number one. <laughs> he's like yeah, number six or five or something <laughs> like that. But um, I've also read Arnie's biography actually, and it's absolutely amazing. He's he's got quite an in-depth knowledge of life, and he's overcome a lot himself, Arnie. So yeah, it's quite inspiring his biography too. Anyway, back to the movie. Um, I was a bit fearful of how many flashbacks they would do in the movie, but they only had like a couple at the start, and I thought that was a good balance to have, and then they just went on with the movie. So, um, yeah, I was a bit fearful of how many flashbacks they were going to have, but they did good. Um, as I said before, they had the time travel element incorporated into the movie and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. it seems to have a thing for time travel at the moment. I don't know why but because of Stargate and everything like that but um yeah it's a good thing though isn't it. The humour was absolutely amazing in Terminator Genesis. Whoa it was so amazing. The non-verbals with um, Annie's smile and things like that. That was just hilarious. The whole cinema burst up. I love it. 
um, my praise goes out to the scriptwriters for incorporating all that wonderful humour. And uh, another one that I really remember is like all the old jokes that were throughout the movie. And then at the end how um, you thought it was gone and then he came back and said, oh, I had an upgrade. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Uh, the Unstoppable Robot. Hmm. I thought that was a good element in the story. Um, added some interest and some dilemma into the story. So yeah, each second and minute I really really enjoyed and it's gonna definitely come into my collection as soon as it's out on Blu-ray. I hope you all enjoyed my review. If you haven't seen the movie, add to Renata Genesis, go check it out <laughs> and let me know what you think. Bye.